that will take care of anything that is wet, anything that needs to be scrubbed, different types of materials. And not only are you getting that wonderful broom, but you're also getting a handheld brush that is going to make cleanup really, really simple. David Leon is joining us in studio again. A rarity to have an in-studio guest. Good to be here, sir. Nice to see you again. Great to see you. Something about this is going to resonate with so many people because we're all looking for better ways to clean up hard messes, right? Absolutely, absolutely. So I always like showing people before Please, I start. Of course. This. Here, look at this. Which one are you picking? <laughs> well, I mean, come on. You Look got, at this old guy. <laughs> we've all, or, or worse, you're dealing with a straw broom yeah. that is all swept to one side oh my goodness. and is not doing the job anymore. It's just moving nope. the dirt around. That's right. This is a rubber bristle broom. Yeah, yeah. It's a rubber bristle broom, and if it really gets too messy or yucky, what you do is you take the head off, you wash it off, rinse it out, and you're done. But I want to show you. The best way to do is to okay. show you. So Perfect. what I'm going to do here is that this is a hardwood floor. This is everybody's hardwood floor, right? So watch this. Bam, bam, wow, two strokes. And what happens is, is that it gets everything off. Everything is moved. And the reason why that happens is because if you look here, like David was saying, this is the, this rubber broom here. So what happens is that there's over 450 individual fingers. So what happens is whether you push it or pull it, it squeezes and it creates a wall. That mm. wall that you see there, that's what it does. And nothing gets past it. Now what we did is that we added these flaps here. So these flaps right there are for the finer particulates, whether it's your sugar, your hair, your breadcrumbs, your flour, these are the best for it. Now, if you saw next to me right here, you can see this. This is yucky, right? So this is, this is hopefully this is not your carpet at home, but this could be pet hair. It is just yucky, yucky, nasty. Now, check this out. So this is the way to do it. So what I want you to do is that with this broom, I want you to use short little strokes and those short little strokes, what happens is, is that it builds up static electricity. And that static electricity, what happens is, is that it pulls the break from, your, from the hair mm -hmm. to your fabric and it removes it. It pulls that hair way up and gets it up and out. Now, what I want you to do too is that, so we were talking about pets, right? So if you can see this, right? So look at this hair. This is gross. Imagine this being your jacket when you go to your friend's house and they've got a lab or your car, car seat, whatever it is. So what happens is, look, it's, it's just bouncing away. So it's bouncing away is because that static electricity is charging and it's removing it from all that fabric. So when you get in your car seat and the dog was in, just get there and what, wipe that away. And also too is that in the corners of your steps, mm -hmm. you're great for that. Great for that. The and corner maybe of the step, you're not dealing with pet hair. You're just dealing with dust bunnies. Oh my goodness, yes. David, I'll tell you, I, have, I bought a new mattress here at QVC. Yep. And so the, uh, the delivery people came to my home. Yeah. Took the old mattress away and yeah. put the, when they picked up oh the old my mattress, goodness. I had all these dust buddies <laughs> under my bed that and I didn't change. know were hiding there, right? <laughs> and I was embarrassed because it was so filthy. But I was thinking to myself, what do I have that would clean that? Yes. A vacuum, Perfect. maybe. 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 But I don't have a broom that would clean it. No. If I had this, it would do a nice job because, yes. like the pet hair, the dust bunnies can be very sticky they and can hard be to sticky, get up. And you don't know what's on there. And again, like I said, these guys, you can take them off, you can wash them, you can rinse them. This is really going to be, this is going to change your cleaning arsenal. When you get this broom, it is going to change it because this is going to be your go to. Mm. Now, here's a question Have you ever broken anything on your hardwood, yes. on your tile? Yes. Right? Yes. So check this out. Guys, look at this. This is a light bulb right here. What I want to do is, bam, I took that out. There's nothing in. Look, Even I've done this a lines. million times. In the grout lines, there's nothing there. It stays within the grout lines. What it does is it never breaks the surface of the ground. So you're able to clean all that good stuff up. Now there's Whether also uh, a little uh, straight edge to the uh, to yes. the side of this brudge yes. that it's acts like uh, a way to clean water very efficiently, right? Fantastic. Yes. So whether it's your garage, whether it's your mudroom, you can see these puppy paw prints right here. You can get all these up. You can clean everything. So what happens is that whenever you need a squeegee, you never have one until now. Watch this. You know, David, Completely I was watching clean. a meme on Facebook this morning, and yeah. it was a woman that spilled all of this water all over her, her ground floor of her home. Yep. And then she used a brush like this one to clean yes, it. Absolutely. And then also move the water. <laughs> I was. Well, I am. Yeah. I'm one so, of these people that just is mesmerized by things I see on social yes, media. Yes, absolutely. And this is going to work the yeah. same way. Yeah, it's going to work the same way. And this is great too because a lot of times, and guys, it's going to be the wet season. Now, one right thing now. you can't see, yep. and we're going to try to turn the broom around yeah, so sure. you can see or lift it up, David. Look at all of that that it pushed away. Yes. Look at all this. Yep. Look at all that. So imagine if you say if you get uh, say if your sump pump goes and you got to get all of that into your sump pump. Right. You're good to go. Now you also get the handheld brush. Yep. You're going to get the long handle brush with the tele 
telescoping handle, yep. but you also get this brush that David was showing you on his yep. leg with the pet hair, right? Yep, look at this. So the brush is fantastic. Guys, if you have a pet, it's amazing. But before it gets to this, use it as a pet brush. It's soft and, and supple. It's not that wire brush. You go around your dog's face, it's perfect. We have two colors for you. You choose a color because the color makes you smile. They do exactly the same job, <laughs> right? So this yes. is the blue and this is the taupe. I want you to choose a color because it, maybe it matches your house or because you need a certain color to clean with. I don't know. But this is going to work out nicely. What was that, Jason? I'm sorry. Fewer than 100 in the blue to go around and a few more to go around in the taupe. Okay. Uh, David, so good to Thank have you, you here in the studio. Appreciate Thank it. you. Great seeing you. That hand is not bloody. I just shook it. All right. <laughs> fantastic. Fantastic. Now, we have a deal.